Hi, welcome to EMSL TV. Today we'll be speaking about Legionella. Sampling for Legionella is important because it causes two illnesses of concern. One is Legionnaire's disease, which is the more serious form of the disease, and the other is Pontiac fever. Of the two diseases, Legionnaire's disease is the one that causes most of the concern. It has a very low attack rate, but a very high mortality rate, and it causes a very serious form of pneumonia, which often has long-term consequences after the illness has been cured. When you get ready to sample, you can call the laboratory and order the supplies that you need. If you're sampling for potable water, you'll need a 1,000 milliliter sterile preserved bottle. For non-potable water, you'll need a 250 milliliter sterile bottle. If you're sampling for biofilm, either in a faucet or in a cooling tower sump, you'll need swabs. In terms of personal protective equipment, you'll need nitrile gloves, an N95 respirator if you are sampling around a cooling tower, and also splash goggles if you're sampling around a cooling tower. You'll also need a package of alcohol wipes to rub down the bottles after you're finished sampling. Before you take any sample, make sure that you have your nitrile gloves on. If you're using the 1,000 milliliter bottle for potable water sampling, first unscrew the cap. Be sure that you're holding the lid top side up to avoid airborne contamination touching the bottom of the lid cap. Next, fill the bottle with your water sample. Don't completely fill the bottle. Make sure that there is an air space inside the bottle. Close the lid tightly and seal the bottle with electrical tape. Now we'll be sampling for non-potable water. Again, unscrew the lid and make sure that you keep the top side up to avoid contamination on the underside of the lid. Next, fill the bottle from the water source. When you're finished sampling, screw the lid back on the bottle, seal the bottle again with electrical tape, wipe it down with an alcohol wipe, identify it, and then send it off for shipping. If you're sampling from a cooling tower basin, use electrical tape to tape the bottle to a long stick so that you can submerse the bottle into the cooling tower basin without submersing your hand. When you're finished taking the sample, Take an alcohol wipe, wipe down the outside of the bottle, take it off of the stick, label it, and prepare it for shipping. If you are taking biofilm samples, then you would need to use the swabs. You can use either or, the only difference is the length, in order to reach different sampling areas. Once you open the package, you will see that it comes in two pieces, the swab and the container. To sample with the swab, insert the swab inside the faucet and rim the inside of the faucet three times. When you are done, replace the swab back into its container, making sure that the lid is sealed. Remember to label the swab and ready it for shipping. When you're ready to ship your samples, use an appropriately sized cooler with freezer packs. Make sure that you do not use wet ice since they may melt and contaminate your samples. Dry ice also can't be used because that's considered to be a hazardous material. Seal them up and ship the samples priority overnight to the laboratory. If you requested culturable analysis, you'll be receiving your results within 10 to 14 days by email, fax, or standard mail. If you chose the PCR test, you'll be receiving your results within two to five days depending on your choice. If you need more information, please call EMSL at 800-220-3675 or visit our Legionella website at www.legionellatesting.com or visit the EMSL website at www.emsl.com.